What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shauna, and in today's video, it is time to do our monthly boxy charm. So it is March, which means that I have a boxy lux today. So we are going to be unboxing and possibly trying on this ginormous box. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get started. So if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly subscription service where for $25, you get four to five full-sized items and you are guaranteed at least $125 worth of items. If you want to upgrade to the Boxy Lux, you will get that on March, June, September, and December, and it is $50. You're guaranteed at least $250 worth of product and you get eight full-size items and they also have a boxy premium where for $35 you get six full-size items and I think it's worth $150 but I don't do that one so I'm not exactly sure. I will leave a code down in the description box below. No pressure, I just get what's called charms and I can use them to shop their pop-up. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I see about in the box is this palette here. This is called the Barbarella palette from B Beauty London. The packaging on the inside is the same as what's on the outside. Let's take a look at this color story here. There it is. It is mostly shimmers, which is very weird. So it is a 20 pan palette and there are only there are only five mattes. The rest are shimmers. Some of these orangey tones are intriguing to me, but I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really know how I feel about this. And I cannot tell you what that retails for because I did not get the card in my box. I do know that the theme this month is Boxy Lucky. Up next, this is from Dominique Cosmetics. I love their stuff. I have um, a palette of theirs. I really like their eyeshadow formula a lot. This is, oh, a fill and define lip liner. And this is in the shade. Crush. Oh, interesting. It's, um, it looks like those triangular shaped eyebrow pencils. I've never seen a lip liner like that before. That's very interesting. Up next, a mini heat brush from Soleil. I did choose this as one of my choice items. Oh, it's so cute and tiny. That's not what I thought it was. I thought it would be like to kind of like dry your hair as well, but I think it's just a heating brush. Um, I'm excited to try this out because I fucking hate flat ironing my hair, so. I will give this a try and let you guys know. And it did come in a nice little case here. Next, this is from Beauty Bakery. These are their blending eggs. This packaging is so cute. So there are six beauty sponges in here. So here is the packaging. This is so cute. It even has nutrition facts on the back here. But yes, yeah, so it's in an egg carton. I wanted to pop out. And there are the sponges. These are actually the sponges I use right here. I still have some in my drawer right now, but this is very cute. And I do know that these retail for $18. So $3 a sponge, I'm not mad at that. I refuse to spend $20 on a sponge. Up next from Eloise, interesting. Um, we have gotten things from Eloise before. I have an eyeshadow palette from them that I really like. Oh, interesting. It's a mini teardrop brush. It looks like a beauty blender. Huh, it's so bougie. Look at the inside of this packaging. And it has a beautiful like rose gold. Kind of looks like a butt plug, if I'm honest. The brush is very soft, very densely packed. Great for application of foundation, concealer, I wouldn't use concealer, special effect finishes, self tanning, and body paint. Hmm. Yeah, it's not too heavy. It has a nice weight to it, but I don't know. It, it's nice. Kind of weird, but I, I like the packaging a lot. I wish I had the card, though, to tell me how much all this stuff cost, because I have no idea. Up next, I have 
from Skin Ink Supplement Bar, my daily dose of glow, illuminate, and brighten. It's a serum cocktail of chlorella, vitamin A, and hyaluronic acid encapsulated serums from Japan. So this is the box here. Oh, it's a nice glass bottle and it has beads kind of floating inside of it. Yeah, it looks like a hyaluronic acid to me. No scent. Let's see, um, vitamin A is for anti-aging, um, clear, bright, and firmer skin with chlorella extract, hydration with hyaluronic acid, and then it says use three drops twice daily before applying moisturizer. That sounds about right. Hmm, I am very excited to try this. I have some hyaluronic acid that I'm currently getting through. Up next, this is from AMNH Skincare. It's a 24 karat gold lip plumping mask. Ooh. I think it's plumping because it definitely has um, some sort of mint in it, but look at that. It's gold and glittery and it even has glitter stars in it. Kind of kitschy, kind of gimmicky, but um, I'm excited to try that. Just apply an even amount of mask to the makeup free lips, leave on for three to five minutes and wash it off. And the last item, I'm so excited for this. When I saw this spoiler, I was so excited. <laughs> this makes the whole box worth it for me personally. This is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I fucking love Glow Recipe. I cannot tell you enough. I got a pineapple serum, the vitamin C pineapple serum from them sometime last year. I'm currently using it. I really like it. It smells like pineapples. The bottle is really cute. It looks like a pineapple. And uh, during this month's pop-up, I bought the banana souffle moisturizer it smells like banana oh it smells so good i love it i think the base box got that i believe this item retails for 42 or 48 dollars it looks like a plum it even has a little cut in it is it gonna smell like plum though a little bit it reminds me like the faintest of, I'm really aging myself here because I don't think they make this anymore. From Bath and Body Works, there used to be a scent called Plumeria. It's like that, but way faint because that scent was a little whew, overwhelming. But yes, let's go ahead and go over everything we got in the box. We got the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Serum. We got this cute little gimmicky lip mask. We got this amazing um, serum cocktail. I cannot wait to try this out. We got this butt plug brush. We got some blending sponges from Beauty Bakery. We got this palette from B Beauty London. We got this lip liner from Dominique Cosmetics. And we got this heating brush from Soleil. A lot of like skincare in this box which I'm not actually opposed to for the simple fact that like I have so much makeup if you look the last few videos on this channel have been declutters um so I'm kind of okay with that I am a bit disappointed in the palette though like I don't know if you're just kind of like a sweep one color on the lid and go plus if the shimmers were a little more um that's what I'm looking for a lot of them kind of look the same and it says on the back that there's a glitter eyeshadow, a shimmer eyeshadow, and a matte eyeshadow formula. Mm. I can't really tell that much of a difference, but like this one and this one here kind of look the same. These two kind of look the same. Even this one up here with this one kind of looks the same. Like, there's not a huge variety of shades. I actually don't think I'm going to use this. I will put it up on my Depop because someone out there may really like it. Um, and I try not to put used stuff up there. So if I can just not use it, I'm not going to. To be honest, I haven't used the last... Like, I didn't put my January box up here because I didn't get it until 
in February. It got lost and then they had to send me a whole new one. I got two new palettes in that. I didn't even touch them because it's just not my color story. Um, I guess I did use the palette from last month, but yeah, I'm just not feeling this palette. So I'm going to list this on Depop if somebody wants it. I have no idea what the price of this is, so I'm just going to sell it for pretty cheap. This brush is very weird to me. I don't know. I might sell this too, to be honest. But anyway, um, I'm excited for like the skincare stuff that I got. But yeah, I'm not really feeling this box, honestly. Um, I liked last month's a lot better. I'm honestly not going to try anything off. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry you had to see me like this. But um, yeah, there's just really not anything worth trying on. And that is okay. Some boxes are better than others. I'm very grateful to get the skincare. Like I said, I have a lot of makeup. So very happy with the skincare and these sponges. Even though I'm not much of a sponge person. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you could please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. That would be great. Please do follow me on all social medias. I can be found at Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Sean Marie underscore 84. I love you and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.